Great here, welcome back to Factorio, where I'm still debating the whole accumulator thing. <sighs> That's a lot more materials. It, it really is. That those those tanks are just so efficient. Either way, what I need to do is I need to place down a whole bunch more solar. E even if I went with the accumulators, I still need a ton of solar. Uh, where are... Where's my solar? So, in fact, this is capped at 100. So let's continue putting down solar, but let's... Before I do that... I know I have them around here somewhere, don't I? Yeah, here they are. Here's my robo ports. So let's grab five, uh, yeah, five robo ports. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend out my network just a bit. Because I noticed I didn't have coverage up here. It's weird that I don't have the other diagonal, but. And I'm going to want another there. Yeah, and I'm not worried about logistics coverage down here, just construction coverage. So let's get out here and see if my personal robo, robo port's going to take care of this. Nope, it's not. And I don't want to wait for it, so there we go. Let's get a white. See, but the main thing about about accumulators is the the cost in terms of batteries, and 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 it goes back to the petroleum products that you have to use for those batteries. But by the same token, look at all the frickin' oil there is over here and over there. I I'm not oil short, definitely not. So, let's start another line of, uh, uh, another solar field over here. And if we're going to be doing a bunch more solar, I need one more blueprint. Please tell me I don't have... Yeah, I don't have another empty blueprint in there. So, let's get all of these, like so. Let's just really cram these out. There. Of course, they all have to head back to recharge. Ah, the rocket silo is finished. Well, before I get the next uh, research going, let's take a look at what it takes to build the rocket silo. I'm going to need... Where is it? Night vision, exoskeleton, rocket silo, a thousand steel plate, a thousand concrete, hundred pipe, two hundred processing units, two hundred. Uh, wow. Well, where's my electric engines? Right here. Yep. Okay. No more concrete being laid down for the time being. A hundred pipe, which I can do easily enough. There's the hundred pipe. I need another bunch of processing units. 
which are over here somewhere. I think they're down by the the chips. Yeah, they are. I'm going to grab these real quick again. Well, that was easy to grab, wasn't it? What's left? Electric engines, yeah, steel plate. Steel plate's easy. I'll just sit right here for a minute. And in fact, I can watch... Watch the counter go up. So after I get the steel plate on me, all I need is the electric engines and the concrete. Well, we're only down to 38 more items, and that's all solar panels. How close am I to the steel? Yeah, I'm going to use some of these materials before I actually get the rest of it to make. I think the limiting factors here is going to be the electric engine units, because those build kind of slowly. But at least whatever I use, I can easily replace later on. I just want to kind of reserve it right now in my mind. There we go. So let's look at the electric engines again. Okay. Oh, let's finish this out. Yeah, this one needs a productivity still. And let's do the... Well, these are good enough. These are the ones that are the real resource hogs. These I'll deal with in a minute. Those are not intermediate uh, products, which is... Uh, the productivity model modules do not work on everything. They only work on intermediate steps. Which I will deal with... Like, like the, the coil here and the chips or actually intermediate. This would be a good location for that. But I want to come down here to the concrete. Which is going to be annoying. Let's get all of this out of my inventory. I don't want these in here anymore. Yeah, I don't want... I just get that out of my inventory, please. How fast is this? Yeah, I'm cranking this out as quickly as possible. And concrete also is not intermediate, I don't think. Is it? Let's find out. Yeah, it's not. Well, there's 400, and I need... What is it, 1,000? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a race between the concrete and the electric engines. Maybe I'll have them by the end of this video. So, in the meantime, let's work on... Ooh, more character logistics slots would be nice. Let's work on that, and let's take a look at our power now that I had a lot more solar down. Uh, let's go to the 10 minute display. So, yeah, the, that extra solar that I put down, notice how it's it's fluctuating here. That means that the de uh, it's meeting the demand. That's why the engines are completely off. So if I go to look at the tanks, yeah, the tanks have got hot water in, again. So on the 10 minute display, the engines are coming up. I've got 90 engines. That's, what, 45 megawatts, I think? Yeah, that's an alien attack happening Yeah, right there to the north, where stuff is being damaged, too. Ooh, that's not good. Now, that's a good argument for accumulators, is the, uh, the draw for the lasers. Why don't we have a single laser here? Here, have a buddy. Uh, 
Yeah, they were coming through the walls here. Or, or trying to chew through the walls here. That base is... <laughs> not... Wow. That base is... Big. Look at all those just... Ugh. I don't know if I'm ever going to want to go out there again. I might have to, though. I definitely don't need to go outside the base for copper anytime soon. I mean, I've got... I'm still working off the initial copper deposit. I have this one down here that's inside the walls. I have a third tiny copper deposit over here as well. Me and copper are set. see, we are up to 694. Let's get these kitted out with their productivity modules and speed modules. Because these use up a lot of materials. And unfortunately, because of the ratio, I can only update one bank at a time. But if you watch, it's up to four. Yeah, it, it produced extra in there. And let's actually... There. This is actually a trick. Apparently, uh, inserters, when they when they drop onto either these underground belts or splitters, they're, they're able to drop it a bit better than if it were on belt. It, it helps with the compression. Ah. Piercing shotgun shells and cluster grenades. Eh, that's kind of superfluous. Don't need lab speed. Don't need that. I don't need more logistics slots because I just got some. Don't need flamethrower damage. Efficiency module 3. Well, do I have any laser turret damage? Yes. Let's go for that. Because we, we kind of have to turtle up right now. Where are our engines? There they are. So, engines are now up to 88, so I need 22 more engines. And I think the engines are, are definitely going to be lose out on this one. Oh, what I should do is... Let's turn this one for the time being. That way I'm not making more frames and stealing engines in the process. I bet you I would have had the <laughs> I would have had the the engines by now if I had done that sooner. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to put plop down the rocket silo over here just by itself, and I'm going to have all of the materials ferried over by my construction robots. Two turrets are engaged, yeah. Missing repair packs? Why am I missing a repair pack? Hold on. How's I'm, I'm just looking at the power real quick. So let's look at the 10 minute mark. Yeah, here was a, t a spike for the attack. So it looks like I've got enough engine generation to make it through. So if I, uh, if I need any more engine, I can feed it off of the boilers again, I think. Let's take a look at that missing repair pack. Because I think all of my defenses should be within the construction network. Yeah. 
Oh, it just took him a... No, well, no, that came from me. Am I not building repair packs in the logistics network? Well, that would be kind of an oversight, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, for the, the moment, let's put a Band-Aid on it. And give them that many. Then... Actually, I know what I want to do. I want to get rid of this. There we go. And we're going to put a light on every other one. So, input on this side, output on that side, which in my other game is exactly opposite. So, if I make a mistake, that's why. You make repair packs. And these, I'm not worried about optimizing this at all, and I want to limit it to 200. I need more power. So, see, it overlaps by one, so the next one's going to be right there. Oh. There we go. That looks better. Okay, that's taken care of. Taken cared? Really? How are we doing on solar? Eh, we're building that back up slowly. Where are my engines? There. 22? No. Darn. How close are we? That's 50, 102. Why did I go down to 102? Or do I only need 100? Oh, I need 200. Oops. Yeah, so... Electric engines are going to be the limiting factor, and I'm definitely not going to get it this video. Darn. So I have exactly one, well, doesn't tell me how many of these I have, does it? No, it doesn't. Well, for the time being, I don't need this many wall. I'm not doing a an outpost anytime soon. It'll keep 100 on me. Oh, I have it set to 250. Let's drop this down to 100. Until I venture outside the, the walls. Let's see. I want... Speed modules. I want... Productivity modules on me at all times. And let's make it 20 of each. I want lasers on me. I want freaking lasers. Eh, 50 is a good, a good amount. Don't need the steel chest on me. You can use that to, to make other chests. And I'm going to leave those three slots blank for now. For Oh, no, 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 no. I can put th my big poles back in. There we go. So how do we do on that night? Yeah, yeah, it looks like, looks like we're doing okay. I wish there was, there were stats in here that would show the uh, peak usage within within this time frame so I could plan out a bit better when I need to add more engines that would be nice uh, what is this why am I making steam engines 
No, really. Why? Why? Why am I making... Okay, so I didn't have to make all of those by hand. And now they're somewhere in the network. I, I, I trashed them in between episodes. Well, in the meantime... Let's actually... Uh, yeah. Let us actually come over to here and up the rest of the green circuit production. Okay, not up it, but why am I not being delivered more? I asked for 20, right? No. 10. I want 20, please. Okay, now let's up the rest of the green circuit production. There we go with more laser turret damage. Nice. There we go. And even more. Do I have laser turret shooting speed? Yeah. So let's alternate between those. Okay. Green circuit production is fully uh, productioned out. Productivity out. However that, however that goes. These... I probably should have done all of this sooner, because I'm running... I mean, science is... I'm almost done with science, basically. What else can I do? I can make exoskeleton... What? Do I have any space? No, I don't. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Hmm... Oh, I know what I can do. So let's do the same thing here. And then... Same thing for these red circuits. Because we're just making a ton of these. So I want to use as little material as possible. more there. What are these guys waiting on anyway? They're not waiting on anything really. Oh, these guys are waiting to offload. That's why. Why why don't they have the full Oh, it's when they when they do the next offload, they'll they'll request got it. Got it, got it, got it. And then, of course, the last one down down here. I do believe that the blues are considered intermediary steps, or intermediate steps, so I think this will work. However, these are not considered intermediate steps. And I know I need a ton of blues. So, let's get that. I can grab this on my, on my own. Thank you, Mr. Robot. Okay. Well, there is some progress. We've got the power kind of taken care of. I need to keep on top of it, though, definitely. Um, we've got the rocket silo. We're almost to the point where we can build it. Uh, I actually need to put more engines onto the lines. <sighs> Still more stuff to do, but we're getting there. I hope you enjoyed today's video and have fun.